Hey guys, Serious Sam First Counter HD. Let's play Bloody Meow. Uh, last weapon that we got was the XL2 laser gun, used for covering large areas and holding enemy masses away. Holy crap, 20 pounds, not too bad. It's both very light and immune to the usual overheating problems, which makes it an excellent energy weapon. Sweet! Um... Yeah, not, not the, uh... <laughs> oh god. Not the, uh, greatest of voice acting from John J. Dick is what I think his name is, but uh, he is part of the serious community when I was a part of it, and I was talking about the Rocketers. He uh, actually, I think his name is Booger on there, or used, used to be, and he was the voice of Serious Sam. And I think he made levels and he made like some editing stuff, he made some mods and stuff. I, I just remember some of the people there. I wonder if anybody's part of the series community that watches this. Probably not. And I'm not going to go to the form or anything to talk about it, but... I used to be there, and I used to have help. Well... They barred, they barred me in, but... I was ducking, so it didn't count. That was actually kind of neat. <laughs> so this level of the sewers is actually kind of like... It's it's a very uh, it's one that people don't really care about because there's not much action to it. It's mostly just a transition one. But I think it's I think it's good for pacing. I think they they were really smart with it when it came to pacing because uh, oh whoa 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 because well honestly this this game is uh, all about the arena shooting and when you get farther into the game it's even more so so oh whoa 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 fuck off bitch. So really, I think they did pretty well with it, uh, although this is pretty much the last time you're going to see even any type of courtier uh, gameplay again, and holy shit, that's a big fish. So it's a nice it's a nice little last touch, I guess. It's kind of like the, the last level of courtier shooters with uh, Atasaput Temple and, uh, oh, Tombs of Ramsey being the other two courtier levels. But it's really nice, and this is kind of something I would make if I actually made levels. I'd make something indoors, because making exterior levels is much more difficult, because you got to work with directional lighting, and directional li lighting never worked for me, which is sad, because I bet if I actually got into the editor again, I'd be a little more like knowledgeable of how to work things out, and I bet I could get some pretty cool-looking levels out of there if I kept practicing. And it's really, really addictive to work on it, and maybe I will someday, I don't know. I mean, I say that again, I, 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 but then again, I need to work with my, uh... I need to work with my, uh... uh Mario levels. I really want to finish that, but man, I just would love to get the Serious Sam thing working, but I just don't know, man. I just don't know. Hard to say. Let's grab the secret armor. Super jump! Oof. But that's a hard jump to do, man. Holy cow. But yeah, that was my phone going off. I just got a YouTube message. That's what I do. I really enjoy that because I get away from that obsessiveness of like checking your email or checking YouTube or refreshing YouTube to see if you got something new or a new comment. Instead, uh, I know I don't have to look unless it's <laughs> unless it's uh that sound goes off, which means I got either a new subscription, a comment on a video, a comment reply, or a comment on my profile. The ones that I actually care about, or a private message. So if I ever respond back to you guys within like a second, it's because I can respond on my phone. So poopy on your faces. So that's 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 why. The music is pretty chill in this level too, I like it. Oh, oh, nope, too bad. Made it out, made it out. Don't even care, don't even care, nope. Whoa! Where you at? Where you at, buddy? But yeah, when I'm seeing the reflection in like the, the wavy water of this, of this level, I can kind of think of one thing. Oh, that fire kind of hurt me. It started to hurt me, at least. That took a little bit delayed. Um, I really... I really uh, enjoy uh, video games, which most people that are watching would do would as well. But the difference is, is that a lot of people put... Um, what is going on? A lot of, a lot of people link... Playing video games and escapism as one thing, and it's and it's like if you're playing video games, you're playing for escape, not just for fun. Now, I think you could kind of counter argue that if people that play like Modern Warfare or playing Halo, well, maybe it's some, maybe not even Halo, I guess. It's a poor excuse for escape, but uh, like 
Yeah, Call of Duty or- Oh, god damn it hurt! Fuck, why did I do that? Fucking, these guys are freaking me out. Where are they at? Come on. Oh, there you are. Gosh. Piss, piss the fuck off. God, you look fucking brat. God damn, that kind of pissed me off, man. You couldn't tell. Because he just wouldn't show his fucking face, and then when he finally did, I still got hit by him. Fucking bullshit. Hey, ass clown bitch head. Fuck that armor. That armor looks like a trap to me. So this is a cool secret. Secret patch has been found. I really like this secret. It uses a Torvus uh, shape right there, like that. And you know those clicker. Look at that. You can see the clears. They're down there. And they can't do anything. And then look at this. Check this out. Look at this trip. Whoa! It's water ceiling. Now that is cool. That is. See, that's the stuff I would make if I made a level. It would look like this is a room. I can make this room. I know exactly how they made this room. I could make a room like this, and you could like make spheres of water or like water ceilings. I know how to do that. But like, see, I can make a this is I could make something like this, this this basic. But it'd still be cool because it'd be my creation. But uh, I know I could. I, I got to that point before. Actually, the, the the farthest I ever got with my serious editing, <laughs> get it serious editing, was uh oh it was producing a. Like a hell church, it was kind of like a church in the sky, or it was like a hellish background, and it was like the, it was the uh, music in one of the Qu Quake Three deathmatch, one of the hardcore metal songs. It was uh, that one, and uh, I tell you what, it, it was pretty sweet, but I never got anywhere. I actually made a pretty nice looking cathedral, as good as you could. I actually had some shapes that weren't just boxes; there were like points and some curves. But making curves is just difficult because the more polygons you put into a curve. The more there's my phone again. <laughs> I want to turn it down so so you guys quit, quit hearing that. I apologize. So that's what I'm doing right now when I'm just walking around without turning my. Oh god, oh god! I'm still turning my phone down. Fuck you, clear! I turn my phone down. That's the turning the phone down. Hit you when you're hit, hit you while you're down. Clear, ass white bitch. Bitch, ass white bitch. Nope. Too bad. My face is a ding dong. Don't think so. Oh. Just a little bit of juice juice. Oh, I like clear. Clears are always freaking ambushing me every single way I look. But anyway, I got on a tangent there. Oh, look at that reflection of that grenade launcher. Or that, that's so cool. I love it. I love it. See, I want to make levels like this. And see, really what this water is like this is that they have an actual ground. That's the ground down there below, the actual ground you see. And the water is actually a big like rectangle or a big um, plane, but then made it... But one of the properties flagged is... Uh, walkable or trespasser or passable and then they put a texture over it it says it's passable it just looks like you're on water but actually you can make anything look like that but the only thing that makes sense is water but you can make some pretty whoa god that was dangerous what the frick was that about whoa oh there's armor in there why do you expect me to get that armor are you serious you're expecting me to you have to charge in there to get that armor or is that going to come back down because that's, if that's the only chance for me to get that armor, you could forget it. I'm not doing it because that's just ridiculous. Okay, well, not too shabby. Uh, not the best. But certainly not the worst in terms of progression here. Oh, man, yeah, that's the only time. You'd have to kill those things really quick and grab. That's why it's 200% armor. Well, screw that. So let's see what that message said. Take a deep take a deep breath, Sam. This looks like a long dive. Also, watch out for those electric fishes. Thanks, Natriska. I really appreciate it. Indeed, she's right, though. There are electric fishes in a long, long dive. Well, it's not that long, because Sirius Sam has a breath of, like, ages. He can breathe for, I think, like, two full minutes. <laughs> but he's Sirius Sam, so that's kind of like how it works, I guess. That's, that's why. See? Eh, it's not that bad. I'll show you when you can resurface. We will see it. Anyway, I want to try to finish this point before this uh, video ends, because this level is actually near done. This is actually the final part of the level. Um, I actually really uh, say that playing a game even like this is... You, you kind of want to escape into the game, but it's only temporary while you're in the game. It's not like you want to escape from the world like and like completely like ignore yourself and make you think that you're like here permanently or anything. That's... I mean, there are games that do that. Like World of Warcraft's one of them. MMOR MMORPGs in general can do that to you, and that's the dangerous thing. But the know the scary part about that is that that's just kind of like a tobacco product. Those games are engineered to be addictive. They're engineered to be addictive, and that is why people play them and play them because you're never, you're never 
full power. You're never the, the top dog. Usually you play a game, oh, I got it. I beat everything. I got 100% on the game. I beat everything. Everything is finished. I beat the game completely. Well, that's not entirely true because new updates constantly happen, so you can't, you, you can't go further with that. But maybe I'll talk about that later if I remember, but the next level, that level is easy and kind of a, and kind of like a breeze and short to compensate for the horrible hellish time that I'm going to be experiencing in the less, next level because we're in Memphis metropolitan area. It's going to be crazy. Got never loaded. Very nice. Never loaded. Secrets four out of five. I just missed one. I think I knew where it was, but it would have spawned a lot of enemies. So, no, no, it would have been in that armor. It would have been that armor. So, pretty good. Not bad. Not too bad. And I even beat the estimated time. Nice. Here we go. City of Memphis. Metropolis. Metropolis. We have entered the metropolitan area of Memphis. According to ruins that archaeologists of our time found, it was a beautiful place with gardens and houses to live in. Only rich and privileged had the honor to live in this area. During the riot against Thebes, Memphis leaders stole, among other relics, one sacred item that they believed was very valuable. The item was placed in a central building of, the, of this part of the town, called the Temple of Pata. It was a tall building by which ancient Egyptians wanted to get closer to the sky and their gods. The exact purpose of this item is unknown, but it is considered to be of great importance. After the sacred item was placed, the surrounding area was built to preserve the temple from possible intruders. So don't expect to get in easily. Now make your way to the Temple of Ptah. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, yes, that's going to be intense. Very, very intense level. Next time, guys. See you later.